This week on Pole House Butt Pot Weekend Getaways, we're on our frozen front porch. On the menu, we're doing a what is it? Nacho a casserole. Nacho casserole. I was thinking burrito or something. Yeah, nacho casserole. All right, so we'll be right back. So stick around. This is Wade, and I'm Angel, and this is Iris, and we are Pole House. Black Pots Weekend Getaways, where we show you all things yummy to cook in cast iron as we visit different places. Well, we are on our front porch. Well, because, there's a real good reason yeah, for that. And you can kind of see behind us, there's some snow on the ground. It's been a really cold week. Oh, uh, we've had really cold. The house yeah. actually froze. <laughs> yeah. So, and we, last two weeks you saw us at Finger Lake State Park. Yeah, so we decided we better stay home in this yeah. kind of weather. It's not much fun when I mean, you can't hardly do anything outside in the, in the camping. So we didn't say, we had, uh... When you have to stay in the camper, shoot! One of them days we tried to go in the camper and it was frozen shut. Yeah, couldn't we had even a little get bit in of it. ice and snow on it and couldn't hardly get in it to get a couple things out of it. So yeah, it was pretty... We had, uh, what, negative 25 wind chill and it was cold 10 below and zero slick. a couple of nights, so. Anyhow, so we're fixing something that's new that we got the idea from re-drumming and before I could even make it, I already had it reworked. So it's totally a Dutch oven thing. Uh, we're making a nacho casserole for dinner tonight. Okay, so, whoa. I think it's just going to be your your baby. Yeah, so pretty much my I'm going to get out and be one on the camera most of the part. So, uh, except for I'll probably help do the baking part, of course, like I normally do. But I'll go get out of the way and Angel can get started here in a second. Okay, this is going to be one of the quickest meals you've ever fixed. You've got to brown you some one pound of hamburger and put some taco seasoning in it. I made my own. It tastes just like the other stuff. So I'm just going to tell you, go ahead and get you some taco seasoning. In your 9 by 13 baking dish, which right now is a 12 inch Dutch oven, that's the same. 9 by 13 and shallow 12 inch Dutch oven are exactly the same, 9 by 13. So, in here, we're going to fix not very chopped up Doritos. And yes, this is a name brand. The family size is better. Because this just ain't enough. To that, we're going to add my homemade taco sauce, or taco meat. Sprinkle it around. Oh, and I sprayed my Dutch oven, too. I'm going to put about half of that in there and then oops now it calls for all cheddar cheese I'm putting Leslie and Wade's favorite jalapeno pepper cheese just to kick it up a notch so we had that left over needed to use it and then I'm going to add a little bit of, actually I don't think I need to, that looks good there. And then I'm going to add another layer of the Doritos, Ch or crushed but not very much. And if you see, there's not much in this layer, so I'm going to add a little more. In case you haven't noticed, we have the wind guard on because we got a nice little breeze. And we're fighting nice and, well, freezing rain is what they're calling for. Tonight, in the morning, yes. yeah. Oop. Before it finally warms up above freezing. Oop. And one day last week was a little above freezing, the rest of it's been well below freezing. Poor Wade, he fights this lovely house every year on keeping the you think you'll have it figured out and the first chance it wants to freeze it does just that okay now I'm gonna finish this up 
with this the rest of my taco seasoning. Oop, there's an iris hair. She's asleep inside right now. She didn't like this cold weather either any more than we did. Except for the snow part. She liked Well yeah, she liked the crunching snow. the snow, didn't she? She eats the snow like it's a little lollipop or something. Freezer pop, I guess. I don't know. You go for evening walks about every ten foot, she stops and gets a big ice chunk, and munches it down. Try to get this separated, spread out as much as we can. And then now, the recipe that we're, we've adapted this from calls for red enchilada sauce. I don't like that. Don't like it at all. So, I got some green enchilada sauce. This is all right. So and then we done dump that over top of everything in here. And we did something we don't normally do, Wade. What's we lit that? the briquettes as we were compiling this. Yep. And we've got about five minutes. Now be ready. Well, I've got less than five minutes. I'm just going to use the rest of this bag. I've crushed them up, but not a whole lot. I'm going to put them on top of here. And I'm going to top with some fancy shredded triple cheese. You could use sharp cheddar, taco, you could use taco flavored. They didn't have any of that at the store today. So if you like red enchilada, that inch, red enchilada sauce, go ahead and use it. You don't have to keep it this way, make it your own and recipe. You could add more stuff if you like to, you know, you could put black olives or something well, like that. Well, that's probably. what Cutting you're you topping that with. But you could put stuff in it too. Yeah, well, you top I would with whatever. No, you wouldn't. So, I said that was hard, didn't I? Really hard. Not really. It's ready to go as soon as the briquettes are ready. I don't know, about four or five minutes, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, the most. And we regroup, so, we'll be ready. We'll regroup and we'll be right back with you. All right, Angel. Oh, they're ready. I about fell off the stairs. Yep, so, they are. This is a standard bake. Nothing special about this. Meat was already pre-cooked, so that's not going to be a major deal. So everything's got to be much heat through. And of course, we got to melt that cheese and get all nice and yummy. So we're going to do a standard with the, as Angel said earlier, this is an equivalent to a 9 by 13 or a 12 inch Dutch oven. So we're going to do a standard bake, which is 30 pieces of charcoal, 10 on the bottom, and 20 on top. So. And this is a 30 minute bake because everything in there is cooked. You're just melting it all together. Yeah. And as always, when we're baking, we're doing a standard uh, layer around the bottom, outside edge only. And then on the top, we will kind of reorganize. My gloves are kind of stiff. Wonder why? Maybe because it's so cold out here. But it's not bad compared to what we've had this week. I'm not we're gonna complaining. Leave, we're going to leave a few right in the couple in the middle for a nice little bed. Of I felt like cold a bear hibernating. Top. Cold as it was a couple days there, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, didn't feel like it. Needing to get out. Okay, now we'll do a, like I said, we'll do a nice bed there. And we'll do, just let me get room, let's do four of them in the middle. Nice four ring around the outside edge. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so, wind's coming and going. Wind's never your 
friend in your Dutch oven cooking. So we're gonna have to put our wind guard up to keep that heat coming right up from the bottom and up on top of the Dutch oven and even heat. And then uh, we'll, with a 30 minute bake time, we're gonna do our normal 10 minute rotate and then 10 more minutes rotate one more time and 30 minutes we should be ready to eat supper. So we'll see you back here in a minute. Hey, honey. 30 minutes. See your breath? Well, I could there yep. for a minute. Yeah, there. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. We're going to show you what this looks like. Then we're going to serve ours. And then Wade will take a picture of it. We'll come back and taste it. Yeah. Now, if you were making this Reed Drummond way or what have you, what not, you'd be... Uh, wanting to put all your toppings on there but we want it for leftovers so we're gonna make our own little individual toppings we don't all want the same things on yeah there. and so, now we've got leftovers they'll stay good with your cold stuff could be added on because it's got lettuce and sour cream and whatever you want to put on your nachos yeah. so we're gonna dish ours up and we'll be right back at okay. you be right back all right Alex, on yours? Yeah, go ahead. Leslie won't have any of that. That is on mine. Did you open that? Because I know we don't mm -hmm. want some of that one. I did. I don't. Hungry. I think I say Me that every too. time. Here we go. Ooh, them chips stayed nice and crisp yeah, still. Yeah, mm. Well, it's a fight in me, dear. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is it? Well, I think I forgot on mine. What? How to paint those. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, still yeah. good, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Kind of a neat, great Mexican dish. Even though it's a cold winter time, but this is good any time of year. It oh, yeah. Summertime, wintertime, don't make any difference. Well, Still if good. you have a casserole you'd like to see us try on video, yeah. send it to us. Send us an email. Pole and a House. recipe. <laughs> and the recipe, pollhouseblackpots at gmail.com. So. Yeah. That about does it for this not we can get away. <laughs> That's right. On the front porch cooking On the for front 2024. Porch cooking. Yep. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Share us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much That's for right. subscribing. That helps us out a lot. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Thanks for viewing. Have a great week. Bye, everybody.